Despite the brilliant creatives who crafted everything from fire-breathing television epics to game-changing depictions of a person breaking bad, no doubt hoping you wouldn't discover these rather specific gaffes, this mistake-filled list is here to change the way you look at certain TV moments forever. You are welcome. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 TV show mistakes you can't unsee. Number 10, Shattered Glass Suddenly Disappears, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Moments before Jake Peralta and Rosa Diaz find themselves getting framed for a bank robbery in season four of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, another rather peculiar development goes down within a, um, a frame. Whilst kitted out in unquestionably creepy old dude masks, the 99th Precinct detectives burst into the bank undercover with the aim to catch Lieutenant Hawkins in the middle of her dodgy operation. And it's here when the group smash their way through a glass door, an action that is even accompanied by a noticeable sound effect just to hammer home their dramatic arrival. But just one frame later, that very same glass is shown looking completely undamaged. How strange. Perhaps the shots that immediately followed their shattering entrance were actually captured first. And the glass was simply accidentally broken by one of the overzealous stars in the heat of the moment later on in the day. It's also pretty hard to edit around such a blatantly battered door, so the call was likely made to just roll with it and hope everyone was too busy chuckling at Jake being beaten to the everybody down and I wanna see your hands punches to notice. Oh, but we did. Number nine, the magical jean vest, Stranger Things. Perhaps just as iconic as the eventual guitar-shredding conclusion to his time fighting the good fight within the unsettling Upside Down, was the cool-as-all-hell jean vest Eddie Munson could be found regularly sporting throughout Stranger Things' fourth season. And it was that particular item of clothing that actually helped Eddie and Steve Harrington bond somewhat in the hellacious alternate dimension, with the former offering the threads to the latter post-bat attack in Chapter 7. But in an aptly surreal occurrence, that jean vest actually goes from being in Steve's possession to right back on Eddie's back for a brief moment after a huge rumble rocks the Upside Down crew. Then a second or two after Eddie is once again seen oddly donning the denim after hitting the ground with Robin, Munson is immediately found wearing nothing but leather as Steve clings onto the jean vest behind him. It turns out that vicious demagogans and Vecna aren't the only supernatural things to keep an eye on in this volatile landscape. Magical jean vests are also a particularly strange thing to be found in the Upside Down too. Number eight, Mike blatantly breaks a ping pong rule, Friends. Remember when Mike got a little bit overly competitive back in season nine of Friends? Phoebe's eventual hubby famously made a point out of reminding his bitter ping pong rival Monica that if at any time a person uses their non racket bearing hand to touch the playing surface, he or she forfeits the point. So it's just a shame that the mighty Hannigan appeared to completely forget that very same rule of the game later on in the episode. Blatantly cheating during one particular rally with a typically intense Geller, Mike's left hand is very much seen holding onto the table as he stretches to reply to Monica's shot. Mike then proceeds to win the game within a few more shots, but surely Monica would have had a case to claim that she should have taken home the victory, no? This specific oversight can be forgiven mind, for without it, fans would have never ultimately learned precisely how much Chandler most definitely did not suck with a paddle in hand. Number seven, time traveling Kias, better call Saul. The masterful Peter Gold and Vince Gilligan are a pair of brilliant TV minds known for their near unrivaled attention to detail, most notably seen during the creation of the likes of Breaking Bad, and that show's equally outstanding prequel series Better Call Saul. However, with the duo and rest of the top-class talent sitting behind the camera still only being human after all, it was only natural for the odd mistake and inconsistency to fall through the cracks over the years. Perhaps one of the most jarring oddities to make themselves known in Better Call Saul in particular comes in the form of one rather specific vehicle roaming around the streets in the 2002 period the show is largely set in. During season two's inflatable episode, if you look closely as Jimmy answers the phone to Kim on the street early on, you'll see a Kia Soul zooming around the corner. With that vehicle only being produced for the first time in 2008, six years later, that all but confirms that someone managed to turn one of said Kias into a time machine of sorts to spy on the man that would become Saul Goodman, right? Or Gould, Gilligan and Co likely just thought Bob Odenkirk's always mesmerizing work would pull attention away from the out of place car for these few seconds. Oh, but they were wrong, weren't they? Number six, that damn coffee cup, Game of Thrones. 
If you've managed to make it this far in life without spotting the illusion-shattering Game of Thrones cameo of a rather famous coffee chain, then prepare to drink in one of the most unbelievably terrible continuity botches of modern times. Going down in an already hit-and-miss final season of the HBO epic, episode 4 of the 2019 final chunk of Westeros action involved a moment that saw Jon Snow having a merry old time with his wildling pals of old. And it was during that jovial sequence that fans' eyes darted towards a concerned-looking Daenerys watching on. Oh, and the damn Starbucks coffee cup that managed to sneak into the frame and steal the whole damn scene. Everyone from Clark herself to Barris actor Conleth Hill had the finger pointed at them in the aftermath. But regardless of whose fault this disposable botch was, that still doesn't change the fact that the Dragon Queen was bizarrely made to forever look like she'd stopped off at a Winterfell Starbucks for a quick brew post-Army of the Dead battle. Number 5. A Fairly Wooden Background – The Book of Boba Fett And in another case of the illusion of a fantastical world being broken a tad in the middle of the action, The Book of Boba Fett may not have possessed a rogue Costa cup, but it did give fans a brief unintentional glimpse behind the curtain. After the Rainbow Scooter crew have chased down the Mayor's Major Domo in Episode 3, the red bike eventually moving around a corner on the streets of Mos Esper during a throwaway shot actually exposed the truth behind some of the galaxy far, far away's TV magic. In this blink and you'll miss it edge of frame reveal, one of the Tatooine buildings is seen to be little more than wooden planks attached together within. Now, this isn't exactly anything new in the movie or television making business, with this sort of revealing oversight being found in more than a few big and small screen offerings over the years. Hell, the Mandalorian series even had a full-blown jeans guy crew member visible during one of season two shootouts. It happens. Simply put, even the mighty minds working under the House of Mouse and Lucasfilm are prone to the odd on-screen technical slip-up. Number four, a mysteriously moving beanie, The Last of Us. Honestly, you'd be forgiven for being too over the moon that original video game Joel actor Troy Baker had found a way to wiggle onto the small screen for The Last of Us's HBO adaptation to catch a rather subtle continuity botch in Episode 8. But when you do opt to put yourself through the emotional roller coaster that is the first season of this smash hit video game inspired TV series again, take a closer look at Baker's character of James when he's out looking for Pedro Pascal's Joel with David and the rest of his religious group, or more specifically, his beanie. Throughout his conversation with the creepy David about Joel and Ellie, James' heart can be seen constantly shifting from being placed further up his skull to very much hugging his eyebrows. It's a tiny inconsistency, admittedly, and it doesn't take anything away from the intense work on show. However, it is particularly noticeable during the moments that follow James explaining that maybe Ellie dying out in the wilderness on her own would be God's will, with it looking as though his hat drops down a good three inches in between his close-up and mid-shot. Again, though, the disturbing performance put in by Scott Shepard here makes trying to spot this continuity error on a first watch a near-impossible task. Number 3. Catch That Cake – Malcolm in the Middle Having to reset a scene can sometimes be a rather expensive and potentially frustrating process if said sequence involves something getting completely destroyed or thrown off camera. But in trying to seemingly find a way to cheekily get around having to fork out on a ton of cakes to use for Season 2's Lois Birthday episode, in much-loved sitcom Malcolm in the Middle, the folks creating the show inadvertently managed to sneak a rather hilarious accidental cameo into the mix. Hot on the heels of getting smacked in the face by Brian Cranston's stunned Hal after calling the birthday gal Wide Ride, a cake-holding clown spins out and launches the sweet treat off into the air, only with the eventual switch over to widescreen viewing seemingly exposing the behind-the-scenes trick the crew had landed on to preserve their precious birthday cake. It's now very much obvious that a person caught the baked goods on the edge of frame. Sure, it's something the team behind Markham in the Middle most likely wanted to keep off-screen, but kudos to the soul tasked with catching that cake without not spilling all that much delicious icing at all. What a damn hero. Number 2. A Shot With No Hole – Breaking Bad Returning to Vince Gilligan and Peter Gold's near-perfect universe now, and to another unusual instance of an evident mistake hiding in plain sight during the Breaking Bad TV saga. With Jonathan Banks' always steady Mike Ehrmantraut silently taking down a few outmatched souls during Season 3's finale episode, all initially seems to be well. Or at least as well as a rather cold and merciless killing off of a few cartel heavies can be. But once you really hone in on Mike's particularly brilliant headshot on an unassuming dude on the other side of a wall, thanks to some gesturing assistance from Chow, a clear oversight can be isolated amidst the gunfire. Despite putting a bullet through a wall, there's absolutely no signs of a hole on the back of Mike pulling the trigger on his pistol. The blood still very much splats all over a container, 
and the bloke looking to get the jump on him drops to the floor like a sack of spuds though. So either someone thought that the bloody exclamation point would be enough to keep eyes off this tiny error, or Mike had some pretty advanced tech sitting in the barrel of his trusty handgun. I vote the former. Number one, a green amputation mistake, 911. Sitting as perhaps the most jaw-dropping you had one job occurrence to pop up on TV screens over the last few years, season three's The Searchers episode of 911 initially contained one rather unintentionally bizarre visual. With Captain Ronnie Cooper unfortunately losing an arm during the episode, he's eventually seen recovering in a hospital bed late on with the rest of his colleagues. They all share a laugh as Ed Sheeran sweetly lends his vocals in the background. Oh, how wholesome. The only problem is the fact that someone shockingly forgot to digitally erase Cooper's arm in the finished article, leading to the entirely surreal shot of a green-sleeved Leonard Roberts conversing with Ronda Rousey's Lena Bosco. Depending on what streaming service or network you took in this third episode of season 3 on, the effect has either thankfully been sorted out, or remains as a somewhat outrageous blunder. Either way though, once you witness the green-armed version of this entirely unusual couple of seconds, you likely won't even be able to watch the fully erased moment the same way again. What a mess! And that's our list. Know any other TV show mistakes you can't unsee? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're there. Also, if you like this kind of stuff, then please head on over to whatculture.com and find some more fantastic articles just like the one this video you're watching right this second is based on. I've been the unseeable Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for watching this lovely video today. Hopefully, I'll see your pretty, pretty faces rather soon. But in the meantime, just be good to yourself. Bye-bye.